Today we are going to see an experiment from Practical Botany, Paper 8, Plant Physiology, that is, determination of rate of photosynthesis at different concentration of CO2. Our aim of the experiment is to determine the rate of photosynthesis at different concentration of carbon dioxide using an apparatus called Wilmot's bubbler. As you all are familiar with that apparatus in our previous experiment. That is the rate of photosynthesis at different wavelength of light. The material required is same as that but in addition we need the sodium bicarbonate of different concentration starting from 0.5 to 2 percentage. This is the apparatus where inside the conical flask instead of water we are taking the different concentration of sodium bicarbonate solution. Let me see the rate of photosynthesis at 0.5 percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution. What will happen if the concentration of carbon dioxide is 0.5 percentage? Here is the timer. When the timer is start, we will try to count the number of air bubbles for 1 minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. The times it's up. So total number of air bubbles at 0.5 percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution is 41 like this we have to try two more trial total three and take the mean value of that that is our average number of air bubbles at a concentration of 0.5 this is the average number of air bubble that is 41 at 0.5 percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution let me move to the second setup that is one percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution what would be the rate of photosynthesis at one percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution here again when the timer is ready we will start to count the number of air bubbles for one minute this is one percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. The time is up. Here the rate of photosynthesis at one percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution is 51. Like this, take two more trials and take the mean value of that. That is our average value of for one percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution the average value is 52 that is the mean value let me move on to the third setup which is 1.5 percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution it is 1.5 percentage here you can see the rate of photosynthesis is quite fast 
so therefore to count the number of air bubbles here you have to slow down the speed of the video when the timer is start you have to count count the number of air bubbles by slow down the video speed Let me see the mean value of that. We will take two more trials and the mean value is 153. The average number of air bubbles at 1.5 percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution is 153. Let me go for the our final setup that is 2 percentage of sodium bicarbonate solution. Let me count the number of air bubbles here also. Here you can see the rate of photosynthesis is as like that of 1.5 which is faster try to count the number of air bubbles for 1 minute when the timer is started you can see the compare how much the rate of photosynthesis is increased from 0.5 to 2 count the number of air bubbles if you want to get the accurate value slow down the video speed which is Look, you can see the options in the youtube the time is up like that we have to repeat two more trials the average number of air bubbles here is 196 that is the mean value of three trials once you get the result try to tabulate that in the tabular column like this we have to take three trial for each concentration from zero so in zero there is no carbon dioxide there is no any photosynthesis at all So therefore, for zero percentage of concentration, the result is zero. Plot the graph with your result. X-axis carbon dioxide concentration and the Y-axis rate of photosynthesis. That is number of air bubbles evolved for one minute. If you see the graph, there is a gradual increase in the rate of photosynthesis with the increased rate of sodium bicarbonate solution. From the graph. we get a clear picture that the rate of photosynthesis is increased with the increased proportion of carbon dioxide concentration that is the rate of photosynthesis is increased with the proportionated increase of carbon dioxide concentration but sometimes the rate of photosynthesis decreases even in the increase of carbon dioxide that is because light act as a limiting factor when every factors which is necessary for the photosynthesis then only this concept will be